The Greensburg Central Catholic football team took a big step forward, going from a three-win team in 2017 to a 7-3 and three team last year. It still wasn't enough for the Centurions to make the playoffs, however, playing in a loaded Eastern Conference. Now they'll depend on their team speed to try to get over the hump and head back to the WPIAL postseason. Coach Aaron Smetanka helped guide Greensburg Central Catholic to the four-game improvement, but he took a head coaching position at St. Vincent College in the offseason. His former assistant, Brett Colbert, took over with the Centurions, and he hopes to keep the arrow pointing up. The familiarity between Colbert and the team has helped that process. Uh, the transition's been great. Um, Brett's like Brett's like a father to us. He's a he's a great coach. Um, he was my receivers coach, so we knew him really well, and uh, he's just a really good guy. Knows football well, and he's making it great for us. Colbert is the third coach in four years at GCC, and while stability is ideal, senior lineman Isaac Coons believes there's been some positives to this situation. Honestly, I think, especially us seniors coming up this year, we've seen different things. You know, we've dealt with different coaches. We've had different, you know, different plays and different things like that. So we're ready for anything, you know, and, and we're very confident in, in what we're doing and, you know, how we're working out here and everything. The Centurions must replace standout quarterback Max Basula, who led the team in rushing last year. Junior David Altimore appears to have the inside track. GCC also has plenty of playmakers returning, with Brandon Brown and Ben LeCart leading the receivers, but sophomore Joe Blahovic could explode this year. Meanwhile, the offensive line appears loaded, and the defense is poised to be much better this season. There's a particular trait the Centurions will flash on that side of the football. I think we're going to be fast. I think we're going to fly around, and uh, I think it's going to be different. I think it's going to be a, a step up from what we've had before. With an eight-game playoff in Class 1A, GCC will likely need to defeat section frontrunners Jeanette, Clareton, or Imani Christian to reach the playoffs. The Centurions nearly upset the Saints last year, and they are now embracing the opportunities to play against the best. Coons detailed the fierce mentality they'll need to accomplish that task. Run them over. I mean, I, my, my big thing is I've always wanted to beat Jeanette ever from, you know, starting. I'm, I'll be a four-year starter. I wanted, you know, I started when I was a freshman, and I've never gotten to beat them. But this year, I can see that the mentality has been changed, and everyone wants to run through everybody. So that's going to be the, the main goal this year. The Centurions open the 2019 season at home against Manesson, and then they begin section play on the road against Riverview on a Saturday afternoon contest against the Raiders.